Hi, <coughs> I'm just trying to record this uh, part B of the video, and here we will see what happens after we upload the file. Let me upload the file once again. Uh, so this is where uh, the actual file is. Alright, so uh, the calendar this is the one. We gotta copy this in the web server and uh, rename it to webcal. Okay. This is the server where I have installed it. You might see it's Debian. Earlier it was uh, sent to us and that's because I was that uh, I had forgotten to upload part 3. This was years ago, I didn't check it. Received a comment saying that I need to upload part 3, so I'm making this part 3. And uh, you can follow the rest in part 4. Anyway, so what happens after we upload the file? We need to create a database called Intranet in your MySQL. Two ways of doing it either using PHP My Admin. Now you have to look up to install PHP Man or simply by creating database <coughs> through command line. MySQL minus U root minus P and then your password. Root password. You are in. All you do is yeah, you can just say show data bases. databases and you see these are the different databases I've installed on this machine. Um, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to create a database. So let's say this is a command create database intranet and uh, always put a semicolon after you give it a MySQL command. There you go. Very was okay. And now let's run show databases and you should see this intranet also showing up. So here you are. The intranet is there and uh, now let's move on to the next space. Okay. Uh, by default, now let's look here if we have intranet. So let's refresh this page. Let's go to home. You see in front of here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a user called Cal, uh, uh, something like that. Okay. So we go back to home and go to privileges, and then add a new user. We call it Cal. Localhost. Password. Whatever. Admin one works fine. Admin one, and then uh, database for user. We can choose a database, or we could just create a database with a user, the same database. Okay, grant all privileges uh, to this. We can choose <coughs> check all and we create the user. Okay. Already exists because yeah, already exists. Okay. So we could say Cal2 and create the user. Alright. Cal2 is created. It has uh, privileges in all the databases. Okay. Next thing is to go back to this folder here, right here, and go inside. There is an install directory. Now, next thing you need to do is go to the IP address and then webcal, and then install. That's all you need to do. And uh, let's see what happens.
show up on this browser. Another browser. You see in a much be two weeks There you go. Okay, so now <coughs> this is the first step. It's web calendar installation wizard step one. Don't worry about all these headers. This is what you need to test. It says to test the proper operation of sessions, reload the page. You should see the session counter increment each time. So we do it once. It should tell you one and then again. It should display, you know, this is how it's incremented each time you refresh the page. Also tells you that uh, you don't have permission to write to this directly in groups. So let's go to in groups. Uh, in groups, right here, go to property, and then now the property for in group is recursively set to seven seven seven. Okay, see seven seven seven, which means read write every file. Okay? Simple. Now, let's move on to the next phase of the installation wizard. And we can refresh the page and say that should go again. Right. Now it says create a password, a file password. Settings file password. Just say anything simple that you remember. Password. Password has been set. Now let's log in with the same password that we just created. And uh, there you go. We are logged in and now go to next. Now we have to put the username that we can. You can use root also. You need to know the root user and password. But I'm just going to use the user that we created. And then one. And then click on that and then test settings. It works well. And then we go to next. Database MySQL. We go next. And because there's no database installed or table installed, we just install the database. Okay? And then no database actions are required. Next, create an admin user. This is application name, you can give whatever title you can say. My web calendar, whatever. And this is a URL. It should go. User authentication, it has different kinds, including Active Directory. I'm not going to get into different authentication, we just go through the uh, default, which is the MySQL, okay? And now it's in production mode, it's not read only, and then save settings. Your settings have been saved, and now launch web browser. The default user that we created is admin, password is also admin. Also, and then log in. There you go, everything is done, and now we can proceed to video 4 to do the rest of the settings. Here are the settings, uh, what you need to do, okay? And we are all set. Okay, bye.